library literacy program, the nutrition center, community health evangelism, and the chaplaincy program are all outreach ministries that have been founded and established through the growth and the success of the Onkasi Methodist Healing Hospital that was opened just 15 short years ago. Come along as we examine the impact your contributions and giving is having on God's people in this remote village in central Ghana. When Rita and I came in uh, to Ankazi in 1990, we had a very crude idea of what we were to do, and that was simply to start a hospital in the village of Ankazi. This village in central Ghana remains for the most part very primitive by Western standards. Most of the residents rely on farming or trading goods to supply the basics for their daily meal. Poverty and unsanitary living conditions combined with a lack of running water and adequate electrical service set the stage for this remote village of 5,000. The carrying of water by the women and children is a daily ritual and although the people face many hardships, there is a joy and a passion for life which is sometimes unseen in Western societies. While life today is very primitive, it is also rapidly changing. And our clinic, which we called a hospital, but that was not a proper name. It was simply a primitive village clinic, opened in late March of 1991. And this hospital has served as a light upon the hill to uh, be a place where God can serve his people, share his love. This primitive village clinic established by missionaries Jim and Rita Donner has now become a thriving 60-bed medical facility offering jobs, modern medical care, and most of all, hope. Hope for a future in this poverty-stricken region in central Ghana. Your contributions and support have been instrumental in showing what God's love can do by transforming this region in the name of Christ. We now have a whole carpentry department and, uh, and so they can take care of everything, you know, things break down or they need something new built. Uh, but we still hire outside help to come in and do the big projects. Because of God's love for the children of Ankasi, He has put a vision in our hearts to put up the Ankasi Reading Town Library. This hospital generally has a mission of making life whole. And uh, we try to achieve this mission through a vision of trying to make this hospital a center of medical excellence even in this uh, rural community. We believe that people who come here and uh, see and hear about what Christ is doing through this ministry by the touch of the staff, through the demonstration of love, they will, they will live here with a sense of um, a touch of the healing grace of Christ, which is even through this ministry. The mission of the Ankasi Methodist Faith Healing Hospital is to make life whole. And we have been doing that through different uh, outreach ministries as well as the hospital ministry in the community and the district. And part of uh, the end vision we've had as missionaries serving here is that ultimately this Ghanaian hospital would be run completely by the Ghanaian people here, and we have had that opportunity to hand it over. We now have qualified Ghanaian personnel to head up major departments within the hospital. X-ray, pharmacy, laboratory, our maternity care, as well as nursing. Our management team is all composed of Ghanaians right now, with a Ghanaian doctor, administrator, accountant, and nursing supervisor.
The transition to the Ghanaian Hospital Management continues under the direction of Dr. Cameron Gongward and other committed missionaries who help provide the needed funds for the services the hospital provides. Recent accomplishments include a much needed sterilizer, the addition of a new labor and maternity ward accommodating eight new beds with shower and toilet facilities. An additional modern surgical theater is also in the process of being completed. Other outreaches that continue is the nutrition program that provides hot nutritious meals for the school children of the village. For some, this is the only healthy nutritious meal they will get during the day. Another exciting outreach has been the Community Health Evangelism Program that teaches local village leaders the facts about nutrition, sanitation, basic health care, and most importantly, spiritual care and evangelism. This program, combined with the daily Bible studies and prayer rounds by the Hospital Chaplaincy Program, sets the stage for God's healing powers to begin working. Your contributions to these ministries are changing lives in the village of Onkasi. Another vision that has recently become a reality is the new Reading Town Library. Illiteracy and lack of education are huge factors contributing to the poverty in the region. This modern 4,300 square foot facility will provide modern accommodations and will be a light in the darkness promoting literacy. The schools here are so old. The children are packed into a room with desks that are about two feet wide. The walls have openings for doors, but no door, and windows the same. Simple blackboard painted on the wall. And what we think of as school is so different than what they have. This library will offer them a place to study in a quiet place at night, where there'll be light, where in most of the community at nighttime there's no light, because people can't afford electricity. I can see the little children walking up the path to this library, singing and just knowing they have a place that tells them God loves them and cares for them. And He's willing to help give them a place where they can learn and grow and become the people He created them to be. All over Ghana, there has been an exodus of villagers seeking better opportunities in larger cities. This has created many problems of overcrowding, which is rising at an alarming rate. Because of these problems, the hospital is in desperate need of adequate housing and salary incentives to attract and maintain quality personnel to stay in Onkasi. Immediate needs is a full-time surgeon as well as additional nursing staff. Construction will soon begin on four new apartment buildings that will provide the much needed housing for up to 36 new residents. Your faithful contributions provide jobs, housing, technology, and most of all, hope. There is a 10-year plan that calls for the hospital to double to a 100 to 120 bed medical facility. Expanded water systems, community water systems, adequate incinerator facilities, new missionary appointments, And this hospital has served as a light upon the hill to uh, be a place where God can serve his people, share his love. And our hope is that every person who comes to this hospital would come and know that when they've left, they have been healed in the name of Jesus Christ. We depend so much upon the prayers and support of people all over the world, and especially in the U.S. And we want to thank those people who have given in the past of their time, their energy, their resources. This could not have happened without that. And we continue to ask for the future, that as you would uh, seek God's will, you would also find in your hearts a way to help support Onkosti Hospital and the ministries that go on here. 
So we want to thank you for the support you've given to the ministries of Ancasi Hospital. The mission teams that come to Ghana experience life-changing events that help them in their own spiritual growth. Lifelong friendships and bonds are created with the Ghanaian people, which will be remembered forever as the love of Christ finds no boundary in the continents or the oceans dividing them. Attitudes are changed as a special love is felt for the children of Onkasi who teach us contentment and happiness in the midst of hard circumstances and poverty. The dedication and the servanthood leadership of American missionaries like Jim and Rita Donner have been foundational in the success and growth of this remote village. Their continued love for the people of Ghana has been most encouraging to those who become involved in this ministry. Won't you join them as faithful followers as God demonstrates what can be done around the world as His hand guides us in the next step of this journey?